right, hey, first and foremost, I want to give all honours and praises and glory belongs to my Lord and Saviour. Yahweh by Sham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Mohava, Kakwadaf. Back at you with another hit. Alright? Lord, when this be at the fine. I already done this lesson a couple of days ago, but for some reason, it was deleted. Alright? So we're going to flow with the spirit. Come on now. And we're going to go to Proverbs 30 and 30 or 31. It's going to be concerning wine physical wine all right drinking physical wine which we can drink but we don't want to be getting drunk out here no one was drunk but again no one yeah. was drunk in the own confines of his house so you can if you're drunk so, you want to be drunk in the confines of your yeah, own house yeah, your own you know your own little space you know what i'm saying <laughs> So let's go to Proverbs 31, right? It's Proverbs 31 and jump to verse, go to verse 4. It is not for kings, is it not for kings of Lemion? Is it not for kings to drink wine? Nor for princes strong drink. Is it not for kings to drink wine, nor for princes to drink strong drink? The answer is no. Right? No. So really, kings, like, when they did them in matters, they shouldn't be drinking at all. This was the advice of Lemuel's mother. Right? And it says, Baba Kishar, check this out. And give strong drink. Verse 5. Lest they drink and forget the law and pervert the judgment of any of the afflicted. So it's saying, why? Right, lest they drink and forget the law. And they corrupt it because drink it can drink can alter your judgment. So it's not that you can't drink, but this is what Lemuel's mother was saying, unless it alters your judgment. But we can drink, right? Because it's lawful. And during the Passover, what do we drink? We drink wine. So it is lawful to do that. Right? Check this out. And it says Baba Kisha. Let him drink, give him, give strong, give strong drink unto him that is ready to perish. And wine unto those that be of heavy hearts. So you give strong drink to them that are ready to perish. Right? They feel like they're on their way out. And wine unto those that be of heavy hearts. In other words, heavy minds. Right? So if someone's going through a lot of things, it wouldn't hurt to give them just a little bit, a little bit of drink. Not that you want to make anyone, you're not promoting alcoholics, you know, no alcoholism or nothing like that. Okay. And it says, let him drink and forget his poverty and remember his misery no more. Right? No more. So some people drink so they can block out certain things. That's why it says, let him drink and forget his poverty no more. Okay. Because most homeless people, what do they have? They have a can of lager or some type of drink in their hand. Okay? And it says, check this out. And forget his poverty. Remember his misery no more. That's why they drink. That's why a lot of homeless people drink. Because it gets their mind off the current situation they're in. Now, like I said, I'm not promoting any brother to go that route. Right? And it says, Baba Kisha, so now we went to that. See what else we can get. And I've got something in Timothy's as well. One thing at a time. Right, so we got something in Timothy's, excuse me, just a minute. Concerning wine. Hold that right there. And now we're gonna go to Ecclesiastes. Right? Check this out. A laboring man that is given to drunkenness shall not be rich. So a, work, a working man that's given to drunkenness shall not be rich at all, right? And he that contemneth small things shall fall, little, fall by little by little. So he that contemneth small things shall fall little by little. Small things. Small things turn into big things. So you might say, well, this is just a small, this is just a minor small thing that we're doing. But that small thing can turn into a big matter. 
That's why certain things we want to nip in the bud straight away. Wine and women will make men of understanding to fall away. Wine and women. I didn't read all the Proverbs 31, but Lemio was also speaking about women as well. Lemio's mother. Wine and women can make men to fall away. Those two things. Right? And he that cleaveth to harlots, prostitutes, will become impudent. <laughs> okay. So now let's go to the next. Hold on just a minute, Baba Kisha. More on this now. This is Ecclesiastes 31. And jump straight to 25. Show not that valiant valiantness in wine so when you're drinking your valiantness is your 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 might your strength it's just show not thy valiantness in wine right you start showing off you start thinking you're on top of the world you can take on anyone for wine have destroyed many so it says it wine have destroyed many right and the furnace proveth the edge by dipping. Mm -hmm. By dipping. So doth the wine in the hearts of the proud by drunkenness. So, so does what? Check this out again. So doth the wine of the hearts of the proud by drunkenness. So if you're prideful, it's going to come out when you've been drinking. Because all drink does is just bring out who you are. Right? In all reality. Mm -hmm. Wine is good. Wine is as good. Wine is as a good life as life to a man if it be drunk moderately. So wine is good if it's drunken in moderation. If it's drunken in moderation. Alright? You don't need to drink a whole bottle. You can just drink a quarter. One or two glasses. Right? What life is then to a man that is without wine? Okay? So wine... The scriptures actually promote drinking a little bit of wine. Right? For it was made to make men glad. So when you're drinking wine, what? You you find a, you, find, you feel cherry, right? Okay. And it says, Baba Kisha, check this out. But wine drunk with excess maketh bitterness of mind. So when you're drinking wine with excess, you're going to be very um bitter. Right? It can make you very bitter. Right? And it says, Baba Kisha, with brawling and quarrying, that's why a lot of fights happen. There are a lot of people that drink tend to drink a lot of wine that can't control it. A lot of fights and quarrelling start happening because they can hold it in. Some people are better than others when it comes to drinking. So, that's another type of thing. And it says, but with the wine... With excess make of bitterness of mind with brawling and quarrelling quarreling. So that's why you see a lot of these clubs, bars, you see fights happen after like at twelve o'clock. Drunkenness increase of the rage of a fool until he offend. So it says drunkenness increase of a rage of a fool until that individual offends, man. Right? And ends up doing something he shouldn't be doing. And it says, Baba Kishar, check this out. To your offend, it diminishes your strength and make you moves. It, it doesn't make you stronger. I've heard people say, when, I, when I'm drinking, it, makes, it diminishes your strength. Alright? And um, rebuke not thy neighbour at the wine. Now, if your brother's in this truth, is drinking, and he ain't acting a fool, he's like, balanced. Rebuke not him at the wine, and despise him not in his mirth. Don't look at him. So if you're a brother that you don't really want to drink on that, don't look at that brother like, oh, you, he's always drinking. Don't be like that. If he's doing the work accordingly, give him no despiteful words and press not upon him with urging him to drink. So vice versa, if a brother's not drinking, don't press up on him urging this man to drink. Oh, why are he drinking for? This guy's boring. Now don't see balance. Remember what the scripture says, all things are, what's it? All things are lawful but not expedient for me. So you have things that are lawful but not expedient. Now we're going to shut off on this Timothy's. And there's a benefit to drinking wine. 
right? And the doctor, I don't know if the doctors still say this on the hospitals. Well, mostly doctors, right? They say, do you drink a glass of wine? A glass of wine, right, is recommended. Or two glasses of wine is recommended. Red wine, mostly. Because it has health properties. And what's wine made of? Grapes. What do grapes, what are grapes good for? Cancer. What do grapes look like? Cancer cells. Right? So we're going to shut off on this. Timothy's. Okay. 5 and 23. Drink no longer water, but use a little wine for thy stomach's sake. And then often infirmity. So it's a drink no longer water, but use a little wine. Right? Use a little wine. Okay. For stomach's sake. For your stomach, you got a bad stomach. It wouldn't hurt to just a, a little a little bit of wine, decent wine. And I'm not talking about the seven pound or seven pound wine, at least over a tenner at least. Over 50, at least 15 pounds. You can get a decent wine for at least 14 pounds, 15 pounds the most. Right? You really want a good one, 20 pounds. Right? For your stomach's sake. So it also says, check this out. And for thine affirmity, so wine can also help with affirmities. Yes, certain affirmities. The scriptures deal with everything. You got affirmities. We're not telling you now. Oh, use that as an excuse to become an alcoholic. Scripture says for that affirmities' sake as well. So with affirmities, you can also you drink a little bit of wine, and you you realize it starts helping these affirmities that you have in the flesh right so Lord willing this was Lord willing this was edified I want to shut off here because it's been a long day for me and until the next time Shalom to the hopeful elect Shalom